Topaz Labs just released a new version of its generative AI upscaling model named Recover, which is now in version 2. In this video, we're going to be looking at the benefits of Recover 2 and determine whether it is a breakthrough in upscaling. Topaz builds Recover as a tool which lets you fully recover the poorest quality, lowest resolution images. A few features of Recover, Topaz calls it its most advanced image recovery. It works both locally and in the cloud. Version 2 works five times faster than the previous version. It relies on the same AI technology used for generating images, but tweaked for image recovery. It is designed to restore old images, ultra low resolution images, and enhance the clarity of cityscapes. Before we look at some examples, let's give a quick run through on how to use Recover. So here I am in Gigapixel. Let's upscale this 250 by 200 image. Currently, I'm upscaling using the low resolution model, which does not rely on generative AI. Gigapixel allows for choosing various resolutions. I'll switch to 4X, which I think gives the right balance of quality and speed. Next, I'll switch to the Recover model. As you can see, Recover has two versions, version 1 and version 2. I'll choose version 2. You can preview either a small area using the rectangle widget or the entire image. If satisfied, proceed to export. And that's basically it. It's really simple. So let's look at a few examples of its capabilities. In this first example, you can see how the Recover model was able to generate details of the person's face far better than the low res model, which in years past was considered the best you could get in the upscaling department. But you can see how Recover has blown past it. It has also produced the far sharper image. Looking at the second example, you can see how Recover was able to produce details in the fur coat compared to low res. Looking at a third example, you can see while at normal zoom, the images seem comparable, zooming in closer to the man's shoes shows the details gap which low res just can't match. The same big improvement can be seen in this picture of an owl where the features in the feathers are more visible and the overall image is cleaner and artifact free. So those are some of the improvements of Recover version 2 versus the low res model. Now one final comparison, comparing Recover version 1 and Recover version 2, you can see the higher quality image version 2 produces, even while processing the image five times faster. In my tests, it took around six minutes for version 2 to finish processing, while 30 minutes for version 1 to do the same. So those were a few examples of the latest Recover version 2. What are my thoughts on it? Is it a breakthrough? Well, similar to Topaz's other technology, Super Focus, I would say yes for a variety of reasons. First is the huge performance improvement over version 1. It is now five times faster, which makes it far more acceptable for local processing. The second reason is its outstanding results, which to my eyes, produces cleaner, sharper, and more detailed images, particularly compared to the low resolution model. In addition, the results were largely error free, and that's true no matter how bad the quality of the source input. The third reason, despite Recover 2 relying on generative AI technology, it never added weird details which looked out of place. Its output looked true to the source as if not using generative AI and that is what you want for photography applications. So in conclusion, I think the future of upscaling is with generative AI technology and among generative AI based upscalers, Gigapixels Recover version 2 should now be the leader. Of course, this is a preliminary assessment and I would need to do a proper comparison to give a final verdict. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Recover version 2 are you going to use it? 
Do you like the quality? Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.